My next guests play two of television's best-loved con artists. They're a motley crew, a modern-day Robin Hood and his merry men and woman who stage daring heists as they steal from the rich to give to... Well, they keep themselves loot for themselves, usually, actually. <laughs> Yo, you the guy uh, buying up all the clubs, right? Gary Harbinger. Gary is the owner of the Shimmer's nice, chain. Man. Hey, what about some drinks, yeah? Yeah, man, good idea, good idea. You're Daryl. What's up? Give these guys some, I don't know, Jägermeisters or something like that, man. We're making history tonight. Just to let you know your car's here to take to the helipad, OK? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, we have to wrap this up quick. Are you going somewhere? Am I going? <laughs> <laughs> what, is this guy for real? Uh, Le Jean plays a set at Pasha on a beef for every Tuesday. It's a legendary night. Everybody knows that, don't they? Ladies and gentlemen, hold on to your wallets. It's Robert Glenister and Kelly Adams. I have to say, I am it's lovely to, you know, a fan of the Bake Off, fan of Hustle as well, because I always try and spot, you have that lovely little recap at the end where yeah. this is what actually happened that you didn't notice, and no. I never have. No, you should try filming it. <laughs> is it? <laughs> we have to read it five times each before we get to know what's going <laughs> yeah. on. Really. Is this what the audience knows, or is this the flashback, or is this the real thing, or how much are we allowed to tell at this point? You never know what, what's so going on. So you really don't know either. No. no. But it's a great team. You've been in it, as, as Ash, you've been in it since the very beginning. I though. have. Yeah, yeah. Me and Robert Vaughan, I think, have done every episode. Is that eight years? Every episode of every Eight episode? series over nine years. We took a year out yeah. before you joined. Work it before... Yeah. Then, you know... And, then, uh, and then before it, really, it really got going. Yeah. <laughs> then it really took off. <laughs> yeah. And working with one of the Magnificent Seven, I mean, working oh, with Mr oh, Vaughan. Legend. Yeah, he's brilliant. He's a... But it's, uh, people kind of think he's, um... <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't ever do that. No, because no, he's just so funny and he's great and he's got amazing stories. But he's really naughty and really, he's just great. He's just one of the gang of people sort of think he's, we all must be going, oh, Robert's coming on set. Not at all. But he's, he's not just he's one um, of us, isn't he? Yeah, and there's great. no side to him. He doesn't get any special privileges. He doesn't get any special treatment at all. He's just part of the gang. Yeah, you know? we always base our behaviour on how he, you know, if we're annoyed about something or we're filming over, everything's taking a bit too long. Oh, maybe we should say something. Well, what's, what's Robert Vaughan doing? He doesn't Nothing. Care. He doesn't or complain. He doesn't say anything. <laughs> so we're all like, damn it. I gather they're making it, doing a remake or some kind of remake of The Magnificent Seven, and as he's the last remaining one, I think, of the lot, they said they offered him a bit part, and he said, bit part? I want a main part. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice... He does, nice he thing. loves it. And the first... When we started to do Hustle in 19, 2003, I think within a week of him coming over, Charles Bronson died, which made him the, the last remaining member of The Magnificent yeah. Seven. Wow. So, and it was all over the papers that he was the last one, and we were all sitting there, and he was having breakfast over there, so that was a oh, bit... Just go in. Yeah, he's been on the show uh, before, and he's, yeah. he's just, oh, as you said, a lovely man. And, of course, last series now on DVD, so yeah. it's, it's... Well, you know, you have to do this <laughs> yeah, keep them happy. But you're back on the boards now, Robert. You're in yep. Noises Off, which I'm going to see. Noises Off. Oh, are you? You're going to yeah, see oh, it on Popping Thursday. Popping in next week. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. the same night. With, I think with the last people in London that have haven't it. seen it. <laughs> it's had rave reviews, and you leap, you know, from doing TV series like this to the boards, which all actors always say that's... My heart is really in theatre. <laughs> uh, is it? I couldn't resist it. I mean, I think when you're offered a play like Noises Off, which is sort of one of the great modern classic farces, you can't say no. And especially at the Old Vic and with a fantastic cast. Amazing. And... And we, we finished filming Hustle on the Friday. Uh, for four months we've been filming solidly and he started on Monday and I, I was like, what are you going to... Because we're all sort of towards yeah. the end of film, we all get colds and we get a bit run down because it's been 13 hour days for four months. So you're going to start rehearsals on Monday. Yeah. I was like... Oh. And it is, I mean, it's a, it's, it's, it is, you know, it is a proper farce. It's running up and down stairs, doors closing, opening, all the rest of it. So it's High quite... energy stuff. Yeah. Well, I, I, for others more than me. <laughs> I'm a little, <laughs> I'm a little <laughs> long in the yeah. truth, I think, for all that sort of stuff. You play the director, I gather, don't you? Yeah, it's great, you get to shout at people all the time. Yeah, lovely. And <laughs> Celia Imre, you know, Celia's in oh, it. Oh, fantastic, yeah. yes. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's, uh, she's, she's fabulous in it. I mean, it's just, it's just one of those great jobs where everything comes together, it's a fantastic cast, it's a great production, it's a great play, and it's all sort of gelled at the right moment. Now, Kelly, you are now then shooting over the pond to do something called Pilot... Pilot season. Well, I just I, I kind of assume that people know what it is. It's just you know in America they go absolutely bonkers for this sort of January, February, and March. Ev all the writers have made the pilot for their series, and everybody starts filming them. So there's millions of auditions. So you literally like four or five a day where you just go in and read and read and read for all these different parts. And then if a pilot gets picked up, 
they film it and then that will then turn into if it's yeah. successful they do it turns into 24 or the wire or something like that but it's sort of they, we don't really have that here we just have things made yes. constantly throughout the year they just go bonkers for the three months and uh, here's a successful in hustle and people say oh fancy having to go and Audition. And that's just the way the business works. There, oh, then. You, you well, can't be too proud for, about it. Not for Mr. Glenister here. It does. <laughs> <laughs> I does. Say, oh, my God, I promise you, think, you it does. No, but, well, sometimes you do. But most of the time, you <laughs> <laughs> he's going to kill me after. It does. Whereas it does. I'm always like, oh, I'm in the same show. I shouldn't have to audition either. But of course, no, I do. Yeah. I do. I do. I do. Yes. It's very different in America. I mean, I think that it's a given that every it doesn't matter who you are. I think even you can be quite a sort of substantial oh, yeah. movie star. You still have to screen test for some. Yeah. Some yeah, things, oh, yeah. you know. It sort of keeps you in your play. Just reminds just that you are a jobbing exactly. actor. Just remember exactly. that, that yeah, kind oh, of yeah, thing. Definitely. But is it, you know, with Hustle coming to the end, and it is a great show because I've loved these series. This is the last. Well, you finished now, then, presumably. Yeah. I know, yeah. Have we you? finished in October. The, yeah. yeah, the end of October. Sadness? Yeah. Well, very much because we all sort of we were contracted to finish last year mm. and then the ratings were so high that they said oh should we just do one more and we said well we will if you if we write it out amazingly we don't want it to be one of those shows that kind of yeah, just disappears into the yeah. ether and it's like it's a shame because it's so fantastic and let's all finish it with a bang and do a brilliant so tony wrote a brilliant end storyline and we all just came back for the final year but because we knew in advance that it was going to be the end mm. we hung out a lot mm. <laughs> and we did, partied we did, a lot we didn't usually because dinner. it was sort of you know we were working sort of 14 hour days so i mean by the time you sort of you know you're up at I don't know, half five, six o'clock, and you finish at seven, mm. half seven. The last thing you want to so do. So the last thing you want to do is go out. But we made an extra special effort <laughs> to do it to and be Kelly, vaguely with sociable. These glamorous frocks too. I mean, wonderfully yeah. turned out the whole time. <laughs> the outfit. I mean, I was watching the one that went out the, 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 with the lovely hat on when you went looking for the missing dog. Oh yes, terribly... that's, uh, that's often what I walk the dog in. Yeah, that's exactly so what, what you I mean. Tweed. <laughs> and high heels. We wish you well in whatever you do. Good luck in the states. We'll be, we'll be rooting for you. Good luck in noise off. I look forward to seeing it. Thank and, you. Uh, the DVD's out of the last series now. Brilliant. Ladies and gentlemen, Robert Glennis from Kelly Adams. Thank you. Thank you. Now, in Hustle, these two do a lot of planning and thinking in Eddie's bar, so um, I'd like them to join me now at my bar, but there's no alcohol today, unfortunately.